This is the fresh picked spring Tiaguayin that we just got in, and it takes almost nothing to make an incredible tea with this, but if you put in just a little bit of extra effort, you can have a mind-blowing tea. So I'm going to show you how. Uh, start with four grams of tea. Often people won't use quite enough leaf on this one, but trust me, you want the gaiwan to be exploded with tea leaves at the end. You're going to get the most uh, luscious, sweet, lingering aftertaste if you're willing to just use an extra gram or two. So, put that in there. You can see with Tiaguayin, the entire bottom of the gaiwan is covered, uh, and we've got maybe another layer of leaf on top of the, the first layer. So it's really going to expand. I'll show you how that works. Make sure that you've got glass pitcher and some sort of strainer if possible. A few small cups to enjoy this tea in small portions at a time. Um, I've got boiling water here and I'm just going to let it cool for about a second and a half before I slowly pour the water along the edges of the gaiwan. I don't want to introduce it too quickly. I don't want to burn my tea. Strainer goes back on. This is a wash. We don't drink this first steeping. Those leaves are rolled really tightly, so they need to kind of get something to help them open up a bit. You can see they're still pretty closed up. This is the point where if you've got guests or if you're drinking by yourself, smell the tea. It's just gonna blow you away. It just smells like the essence of spring. Lilac and fresh cut grass. So heat up your cups, pour a little bit of tea in the saucer of the gaiwan to insulate it, to keep it warm. Pour that all out. Now we're ready to actually brew the tea. Once again, boiling water. I pour it into the glass pitcher that I'm using. Swirl that water around for a second or two. It cools down just a few degrees. And then pour it in a fine stream along the edges of the gaiwan. If you fill the guy one up all the way to the top, you're gonna to burn your hands. So leave at least a half an inch there. Now, one, two, three. We pour out. Probably in total, we were looking at four and a half seconds from when the water hit the leaves to actually make it into the pitcher. And you can see, despite the very short steep time, this has a beautiful sort of golden green color. Um, the Tiaguayin, I highly recommend steeping it out at least for 10 steepings. Try to do 15 or 20 if you have the time. Um, just add a few seconds as you go on and you'll be able to get more out of it. Now, halfway through, if you're sort of feeling like the tea is settling into itself, mix things up by flipping the gaiwan. Uh, of course, the leaves will be much more expanded at this point. And then put them back down, sort of upside down. I'm just gonna show you one more steeping so that you can see how big the leaves really need to get. Pour the water in. One, two, three, four, five. And we pour the water out. So we're two steepings in, the leaves have expanded almost to fill the whole guy one. Three steepings will be all the way up at the top. So that's what you want to look for, for a quantity of leaf. Now, if you don't have the equipment, no problem. Use a brew basket and a cup or a bowl or your favorite vessel of some kind. Place the brew basket in the cup, leave your saucer. I'm gonna carry my cup to the water boiler or you can pour the water right onto your cup. First steeping is still a rinse, even if you're using a cup or a mug. Um, follow the same rules as Chinese steeping. Pour it all out. Put the brew basket back in. Fill the cup up halfway. Kind of swirl it around. I only filled it up halfway. So, I don't know if you can really see. But um, we're looking at half the cup and you can see it's already got that nice green color. Once again, brew at least 10, 15 steepings like that and enjoy. Hope you really get that sort of creamy, thick, luscious texture out of the Tiaguayin and the floral sweetness.